Why are you here? Why, why have you flown across the world? Yes, yeah, uh, it seems, I mean, uh, um, I've been last year to the World Championships in, uh, in Berlin and uh, it was very nice. I mean, it was obviously uh, more close by uh, for me from Holland, but um, well, uh, I, I mean, the, the atmosphere was great. I like the uh, competitiveness and uh, the endurance of every game and uh, of five, uh, five rounds or six rounds here diplomacy and I just love the game I think it's uh, important to keep the hobby alive and I think I'm one of the uh, one of the young players that well the next generation to keep diplomacy alive and, and, and kicking so I think it's important to do to do that uh, internationally also. and I am currently the lead editor for the diplomatic pouch online zine the, dip the diplomatic pouch is a, a very big website that has lots of resources for diplomacy so it has, for example, a variant bank, which lists all sorts of variants that are available for the game. It has a huge amount of strategic and tactical advice. And five times a year, we also publish a new issue of our online magazine. And uh, until now, most of the, the games that I've played have been online, uh, basically by email. Because that's another thing that the Diplomatic Pouch has. It has the, the DP judge, the Diplomatic Pouch automatic judge. Um, which is basically a computer program that lets you play diplomacy automatically. You just have to send in certain commands through the, the internet interface or by email, and it will adjudicate everything for you. So you just get seven people to sign up for a game, and you can set the timing however you want. And uh, it's very different from the face-to-face -face experience here. This is actually, in spite of the fact that I've been playing diplomacy on and off for 25 years, this is the first time that I've actually attended a diplomacy tournament. It's a very different experience from online play, I can tell you that. How so? Well, the thing about online play is that you basically have as much time as you want to put into it. So you can send emails to all the other players, hopefully they'll respond. Uh, you have a lot of time to think about your strategy and to, to react. Whereas what I'm finding here is that you have 15 minutes to talk to everybody and to get your orders down. And there are actually people who are who on occasion have failed to get the right orders down or, or made mistakes that they wouldn't if they had more time to look at it. And that actually puts a factor in play, I'm finding. So is there a preference? Do you uh, prefer online or uh, live? Or? Yeah, well, I seem to be better at online so far, so I like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see. It's, it's exciting anyway. And, and it's a lot of fun to get to meet all the people here, especially because I know many of them, or I recognize their names at least from the so, th so there's a lot of people online that are here in person? Yes, playing. there are lots of people who, who have written articles for us in the past um, and just whose names I recognize. I spend a lot of my time writing to people, begging them to write stuff for us and uh, a lot of them are here so I get to nag them in person. Are the games uh, on your site uh, membership or anyone can just uh, get seven people together? No, anybody can sign up, you just have to have an email address. How long does an online game take? It depends. You can set the deadlines however you want. Um, usually there will be, say, a, a two or three day deadline for every movement phase, and then a one day, say, for, for every retreat and adjustment phase. And I assume you're going to explain what those mean. Compared to 15 minutes here while you're live? Yes. But as I say, you, you can ask, you can set it up however you want. Usually online, when you're playing an online game, there's a specific person who acts as the game master or mistress who isn't playing, but who just sort of oversees everything and sets the, the terms of the game when it comes to timing or if there are any special rules that you want to use. Any closing words you want to give any, uh, anybody? Oh, what can I say? <laughs> um, it's the best game created this century and possibly since chess, in my opinion.